Hey what's up everyone, it's about Alter Tech back again with a new exciting video and as promised here is a camera comparison test between the OnePlus 9 Pro running Oxygen OS 12 and the brand new Pixel 6. Alright guys, so this is what we're going to do. I'm not a big fan of these smartphone ca camera comparisons and my videos like this don't really do good on YouTube. So I'm gonna just going to go ahead and speak up and I'll give you guys my full analysis after I play you guys all the photos. I want you guys just to, you know, sit down, relax and decide for yourselves which one you guys think did the better job.
my favorite part. I'm just joking, being sarcastic. So let's go ahead and talk about this. What do I have to say about this? I take a lot of photos and there's a lot of things I look at when it comes to a good quality photo. And for me, guys, of course, the image quality, you know, I'll be doing some pixel peeping as well, the HDR, things like that. So this is the Pixel 6 shot and it looks a lot more realistic. And as for the OnePlus 9 Pro, it was on night mode. It has this AI feature, and if the AI thinks it's if it's a night scene, it's going to activate night mode. And with night mode, it takes like a, a snapshot at 0.7 seconds. And I, in the first couple photos, you guys would see that, you know, maybe I didn't hold it long enough or steady enough, and it came out a little bit more blurry. And as time goes on down the road, you guys will see that my images came out a lot more cleaner, and that's because I held it a little bit more steadier. So for this image, pay attention to the lottery numbers over here the winnings or the the prize and it just was a little bit overexposed on the pixel 6 i was very surprised because this was a dark shot and the pixel has a does a great job at hdr i guess it didn't pick this up or something over here i would give the hdr to the oneplus 9 pro as for the texture when i first saw the pixel 6 i just like the the sidewalk the concrete it just had a lot more uh, texture than on the OnePlus 9 Pro. For these images, like if you're viewing them on your phone, you're not really pixel peeping. I think both of them look really great. I think some people will actually pick this one because it's more brighter. And some people will pick this one because it's more true to life. Let's go ahead and pixel peep. And you guys can see uh, this one, it's unreadable. This one says Glenn D. Cunningham. And for the Weikert, it's much more visible on the Pixel 6. And even for the streets, the, the crosswalk, it, I like how this uh, texture is. It's more you know, realistic looking. Uh, this seems to be a little bit more on the blurry side. But like I said, you probably have to have steady hands to get really good shots. Uh, like OnePlus, they changed the camera app. So it's this is something I have to like relearn now. That's why I was a little bit um, upset because I spent so much time trying to master that camera app. And now it's like I got to figure out how to get the best shots on this camera. And that's something a lot of um, you know people don't really do um, for camera comparisons. What I would like to do is I would like to go ahead and learn the camera because I, th I think of the camera as a tool and as an instrument. And the best way to get the, the best results is to master the instrument. And instead of just uh, running around like a donkey and just you know snapping everything like really quickly with two phones and just being like, oh, this phone did this and this phone did that. We're not at that stage in which phones could actually just give you the best image with one snapshot, unless unless it's the Pixel. But it's yeah, I guess with the Pixel, it's a it's a one button, um, one shot deal, and um, some other phones stuff you know still gotta catch up. As for the OnePlus 9 Pro on this one, the sign here it's nice and clear, and we had a little um, stranger walk in, so that kind of messed it up a little bit. But there you go, motion blur and let's go ahead and, and pixel peep now for this one i have no idea what it says for this one i could see it says sushi and thai street food so it's much more clear on the pixel 6. Um, maybe if i held it a little bit longer this would have been a little bit more clearer but that's something just to keep in mind with the oneplus 9 pro now for this one um the reason why i use night mode on the oneplus 9 pro is because everything came out super clear and crisp when I was using it on the Oxygen OS 11 app. And now, you know, you have different algorithms and stuff going on. So it's like, I gotta really try to figure out how to get the best images. Now for this, the car tires, the rims are much more clear on the Pixel 6. And I'll say this too, guys, on the OnePlus 9 Pro, the the night mode, it has like this countdown, of like from 0 0.7 seconds to zero. So for this image, we have a moving car over here. And I took both of these images at the same time about. And for this one, the car had some, you know, motion blur on the Pixel 6. And for the OnePlus 9 Pro, surprisingly, this was actually nice and clean. Um, overall, this not, this shot was the buildings and everything. It's very, very nice and uh, very clear. I, I liked how it came out. The lights and everything, the exposure. Um, for the Pixel 6, a little bit darker. But I, I kind of prefer this um, image over here a little bit. For pixel peeping, I'd give it, it's a toss up for me. And you guys can see the contrast on the Pixel 6, it's a little, it's a little bit more higher. Let's go ahead and check out this image. So, this image is, uh, this is what I was talking about. So, if you don't hold your phone steady for like the full second, 
uh, the image isn't going to come out very clear. So for the pixel, you guys can see the texture on the floor and everything. It, it's just it's just more realistic. It really pops out. And if you were to pixel peep, this is what happens if you don't stay steady. The word, everything is just blurred out. And I know this because with the ultra wide camera, I took the same shot and it was much more clearer than this. And that's because I, I stood still for like a full second. Now for this one, as for the Pixel 6, you guys get Grove Street Path Trains. Very nice and clean. Nice job by the Pixel over here. Now for the OnePlus 9 Pro, this is what I was talking about. Ultra wide, if you stay still, it comes out really clear. So great shot. You have that flagship ultra wide sensor. As for the Pixel, you don't have that flagship ultra wide sensor, but the software is so damn good. Like the processing, it just... <laughs> Um, it allowed the Pixel team to get away with that uh, Sony, or was it 380 something IMX sensor? It was in 300s, and for the the OnePlus, it's using the Sony 766. So, um, as you guys can see, the Pixel 6 did a great job coming from software, but hands down, the OnePlus 9 Pro's ultra wide camera is much more cleaner than the one on the Pixel 6. I'm saying that. If I could just zoom in real quick and just show you guys. I know someone out there is going to be like, nah, I think the Pixel 6 came out more clear. I'm like, no. This is the Pixel 6. And, okay. Okay, this was a bad idea. Let's go, let's try. This is the OnePlus 9 Pro. And this is the Pixel 6. So the Pixel 6 is not... Damn, I think they both did a pretty good job. To be honest, I know this one feels like a little bit more softer, but the OnePlus 9 Pro looks a little bit more processed a little bit. Yeah, you guys let me know down in the comment section which one you guys think that did the better job. Um, this shot over here was a red light. So let's look at the colors in this one. So for a red light, this is actually really red. And as for the pixel, it's a more realistic shot or a more realistic scene. Over here, the food truck, um, it's overexposed. I didn't catch that on this one. Um, the car lights and everything, um, pretty decent. So the exposure on the Pixel 6, it was just lower down a little bit, so you have a more realistic shot. So if you guys were to zoom in um, for a higher, for a longer exposure, this is what you're gonna get. So this one, we have a, a Christmas tree, a beautiful shot with the OnePlus 9 Pro. Very nice looking, good shot. And uh, for the Pixel 6, it's a little bit more darker. And honestly, I would take this one over this one. Um, it just goes to show you that, you know, the OnePlus 9 Pro's camera, it is capable of taking good photos. Uh, but uh, they just, I think they just need like a few more tweaks here and there. And if you were to look at this uh, Pixel peeping, the, the ornament up on top over here, the star, it's more exposed on the OnePlus 9 Pro because it's taking a more light doing that long exposure stuff. The Pixel 6 went for that more realistic so they turned it down the highlights on this one. Uh, it really comes down to preference guys on this one. I, I uh, just comes down for some of these. Some of you guys may pick the OnePlus 9 Pro. Some of you guys may pick the six, Pixel 6. It's about 12 o'clock midnight. Let me try and get through this. Um, for this one, let's see. All right, for this one, um, nice shot. I think both of them did really well. Oh, I didn't do any zooming in. Let me go ahead and zoom in on this one real quick. 100%. So the Residence Inn, Marriott. Okay, I could read that. And as for the OnePlus 9 Pro, it looks like they did a little bit more sharpening. So you could definitely you know, make this out a little bit more, but the over sharpening on the, the trees and whatnot seems just a little bit too much processing for my taste over here. Um, processing is it's more on the softer side it reminds me of the pixel 4 you know more a natural look um, but for you you guys some of you guys might actually pick this because you guys might think it's you know it's more sharper and um, it's not more detail it's just more sharpness and for you guys out there maybe you guys like that I know Samsung used to do it all the time and let's go ahead and check out this one mm, we have a moving car over here and Okay, you have more motion blur on the Pixel 6, surprisingly. I think I took both of these out at the same time. 
and I think both of them came out really. No, I gotta give it to the Pixel. I like how the I mean the One Plus Nine Pro. I like the texture on the streets over here, and going to the Pixel. Okay, it's just Final Cut Pro. I think they both did a good job. Um, the motion blur on the Pixel Six. Um, I, I'm just it didn't come out as good as the One Plus Nine Pro. And for the lights and everything, the colors. This one is just like more brighter, more colorful, in my opinion. The reds are really popping over here for that street lights. And for this image, we are going to the bad train. I'm actually not going here, but uh, I figured this would have been a, an interesting shot. So let's go ahead and see the pixel. So actually, let's see, going back and forth. I would say it really comes out the preference. Now the contrast on this one seems like it's a little bit more higher on the OnePlus 9 Pro. And over here, it seems the contrast is a little bit more less on the Pixel 6. So it really comes down to your preference. Oh, let's talk, go ahead and talk about the colors. I forgot about this image. So I was in the supermarket. So some apples. How about them apples? So these apples look really red. <laughs> Much more colorful than what I saw. And uh, for the average consumer, maybe they might actually go ahead and pick this. So you know, for this one, it looks like, yeah, it looks very, very neutral. Right? It looks more on the cooler side. It doesn't look very um, tasty. This one looks very, very tasty. But it's not... It's not those natural colors. So this is actually really funny because Hasselblad has those natural colors. Um, so zooming in, I can't really even tell what those, what's on that label. Let me see. Um, is that an R? Classic. I don't know what that says. This one. Oh, that, this one actually came out. Um, I think they both came out pretty decent I think they both came out pretty decent so let's go, let's go back um, for the colors hands down more realistic more tasty and this rose the reds really pop in here man it's a nice image and this is a nice I think this one has more detail for sure um, but this um, on the OnePlus 9 Pro it makes this rose look a lot more Instagram ready you know it, it doesn't make it look this one looks like it's about to, uh, it's about to die. It looks like it's just, you know, it's it's going bad. For this one, I mean, if you had to if you had to get your girlfriend one of these flowers, which one would you pick? So, let's go ahead and pixel pixel peep. Yeah, I feel like this one actually has more clarity to it. All right, so let's go ahead and check out this one. So more fruits. Um, for the OnePlus Nine Pro, I'm not sure what happened with the exposure. They probably could have lowered this a little bit. Maybe it was like, oh, the grapes. Maybe the blueberries. They wanted to expose the blueberries. I wonder how the Pixel 6 did. The Pixel 6 did a really good job. It looks very realistic. It looks like it looks like I'm back in the supermarket. And everything's just like the exposure is really, really damn good. Um, for the OnePlus, usually they do a good job of the exposure. Maybe it's that, um, it's a few, just a few kinks they got to work out with this new camera app. And if you were to pixel peep, yeah, I, I can't even recognize this. This one, you could probably um, pull in more information with the barcodes and whatnot. Let me be that guy and just pixel peep real quick. So Dristals, oh, I can't see that on this one. So the Blueberry, Partner, Blueberries. Okay, I can see that. This one's a little bit more blurry. Let's see how the pixel, let's see how the pixel did. Holy snaps, damn. Pretty clear on both of them. Well, would you know? All right, so let's go ahead and uh, check out this image, which I have no idea. Oh, it's a pizza place. Two Boots Pizza. They have good pizza. Um, Raza. I actually had Raza instead. That pizza was amazing. The ingredients, the quality was it was worth the twenty bucks. Um, Smoker's Paradise. So for this one, um, I think this is a nice shot. I don't really see anything to complain about. There really isn't. I don't see any noise or anything like that. Um, very nice texture details on the garbage cans, on the floor, concrete. Um, highlights are pretty good over here. Um, the HDR, if you guys want to call it that. <clears throat> um, you guys could see everything inside the store over here. Looking pretty good. You guys could see inside here as well. And let's go ahead and see what the Pixel did. Interesting. So it's a more realistic shot. I think it's more clearer on the Pixel 6. I think... So the OnePlus 9 Pro went for more of a brighter shot. And this went for a more 
crispier shot. I think my voice is going out. I don't know how you guys do this on YouTube, man. These camera compressions asked, man. Like, you guys probably have to type up everything. And, yeah. So this one over here, like I said, they went for a, a brighter look. So the highlights are much more brighter, exposed. But over here, you guys can definitely see a lot more inside the store. I mean, like, actually make it out. It's a lot more cleaner, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys prefer. You know, like the brighter image or the more um, less exposed, cleaner image. And this one over here is an interesting shot. I think I used the ultra wide camera on this one. I want to see um, how much better it is, or if it's if the Pixel Six is actually better with their HDR technology. So not bad. Ah, over this one, this one, the sign got them again. For some reason, these lottery signs are messing up the Pixel Six, throwing them off. So this is overly exposed, but I think over here it's a lot more brighter. Let me go back to the OnePlus 9. Whoa, it looks a little bit more on the softer side over here. And the darkness, the blacks are really just, you know, crushed over here, higher contrast. Interesting on how this um, phone actually, or the software, picked up on the scene. So which one would you guys pick? I think this is all I have. And um, yeah, my voice is about to go out. So let me know down below which one do you guys actually prefer. So this one actually looks a little bit more cleaner as well with the New Jersey Lottery over here. Over here it looks a little bit more on the blurry side. But my advice to you guys right now is as OnePlus continues to, well, hopefully they update the camera app. My advice is to just um, learn your cameras and keep still. And if you guys have Oxygen 11, I think I would actually keep it on Oxygen 11 just for the, the photo quality. Um, I think it's just a lot more optimized for the camera sensors on that phone. But anyways, guys, this is Alter Tech. Let me know what you guys have to say about this down below. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Take care. Peace.